No, I know. Mm. So we we pushed it. We pushed it for the crowd. We did. You can't hear any of the Oh, what'd you right. think? As, they always tear the Nor Newport down, like seriously. They really know how to rock it out here. I've seen them over 50 times. That's one of my favorite shows. Uh, they were just on tonight. They were, everything was there. We did it a second time. I know, we were like, yeah, we were supposed to go Yeah. I know. Sounds, but you still weren't with me. No, I was, I was doing the dings. I just like skip that because that's all gone. I didn't know what was going on there. They were supposed to go, ba-da-doo, 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 ba-da-doo. Tonight they had a wonderful mix in the sound. I think that for anyone who knows the Newport, despite all of its historical significance, what they did tonight, the sound, to be able to sound that crisp in this venue, that's an accomplishment. Thank you. Is it good? You guys play great. It's just the sound's all weird. Yeah, the sound is the sound. Tonight was interesting. I said at one point something about having a lot of thoughts through my head sometimes when on stage. Tonight was one of those nights. Many distractions. Many different things going on. It was, it was interesting. Guest fits into it in that they're a band that thrives off of the energy they get from the people. It's the, the love and energy they get from the audience that they're able to transmute into music. And music is that universal language that speaks directly to the soul, bypassing the intellect. So much of the time we spend describing the world to ourselves, we filter everything through an intellectual construct. Music bypasses that doesn't use the linguistic engine to reach the heart. And because of that, it speaks to the deepest truth. I swear, Mark has a one in, we have, Mark and I have a one in 10, like a one in 10, one in 10 shows, you're gonna love it. Like, you love every minute of it. And then there's gonna be nine where it's like, it didn't quite click. And you can't necessarily plan for that. You can, we can say, man, Newport's gonna be one of those one in tens, but we don't know, it might not be. It's a big room to work and it's a different kind of energy. You know, Saturday, Athens, now that's one of those you can almost definitely say one in ten, it's gonna happen. That's the town where the magic started. That's the town where it always happens.
Life on the road. You get five dollars a day to eat. So you gotta figure you get breakfast. Well, that's your okay, gone. It gets tough just living this lifestyle. Um, it gets you know, just being on the road and not having like a set schedule, not being able to work a job that would be fulfilling when you're gone half the week. You know, most places aren't gonna hire you. So, you know, a lot of time is spent doing things that aren't important. Like, you're, like just making money and everything. This is guest in a nutshell right here. This is an attempt to hold a chaotic situation in place and make reasoning out of it somehow. It's functionality with chaos, that's what it is. Yeah, you know, I dropped a full can of Sprite on my big toe last night. And it fucking hurts, dude. It could it could affect my performance. I'm not gonna lie to you. It could be less thumping and more bumping. Speaking of speaking of ladies, so there's a lady in every town as well. What is what's the women on the road? I can't say like that. Oh. Women on the road. Usually. You get you can't beat them off with a stick. The bus is our woman. You know, what are you talking about? Dude? I have I seriously I'm, I'm weekly at the clinic just to make sure I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're beyond oh, that's hilarious. What do you got for me? Alright, what else we got, <laughs> fellas? We were playing a show at, uh, I forget exactly what, but we uh, we were playing and all the guys wanted to take a break. They were like, Mark, you know, jam, do a little solo shit for a second. And as I was doing it, I'm sitting there playing and I didn't even notice. I wasn't even paying attention. This cop comes up behind me and everybody's like, cheer, yeah! And I'm just like, yeah, they're cheering for me, but they weren't. They're cheering because this cop was there. And he, he stops me, finally he stops me and writes me a ticket in front of like three, four hundred people. You know, everybody's just cheering in here. And I was like, man, this is a travesty. And I drop my beer and it lands right on his foot. Starts spilling out all over the place. I pick it up. So the guys that threw the party that had us uh, play, they, uh, they covered the $90 ticket, which they actually did. He came and got me the next day and gave me the money. That's it. <laughs> Funny shit. There's so many stories from Athens, you can't even tell them all. So many things happen there. I'm shit like that doesn't happen anymore. Grand Ventures. It's a beautiful Athens, Ohio. Ohio University Athletic Fields. We're coming to the final stretch. Through Athens, Ohio. Home of guests. everywhere right here. If you were coming up here on a summer day, it'd just be breasts and cooters. Stairmaster. I mean, I need to help you with your gear. I'm sorry. It keeps your body looking real good. 
Ruby, you don't think you don't think it's not a good idea to put it anywhere in the napkins do that at all, yeah. Nothing go, nothing can really go wrong. It's like Athens is one of these is the rarest of, of places for us to play because it's like we can't go wrong there, man. Like we've had maybe one or two questionable gigs in Athens ever, you know. And we've played there hundreds hundred times at least. And Athens is just the energy of the crowd and the people and where we started, you know, it's just it's one of those places. It's a one in ten show. Hello, hello. Can you all hear me out there? Hello to the Blue Gator. Hello to Athens, Ohio. We got, a, we got a little band situation in the state of Ohio going on right now. The most promising, hottest, buzzed about band that is coming from the state of Ohio started in Athens, Ohio. Do you believe that? Like, right here. This is a very special night. Guest is standing right off stage. They're about to hit this stage that I'm talking on right now. They're gonna give it to you people. All you gotta do first is give it up for guests. The, the scene or the industry is going to put you on a label anyways and, and you really can't, there's nothing you can do to try and stay away from that. So, but what we do in the house is just writing original music. Like we don't ever sit down and say, this is, uh, we're going to try and write something that sounds like this or we're going to try and do something that is this. We just get together and say, well here's my idea and here's their ideas and we collaborate and whatever that end product is, is what guest is. Part of it too is you want, the way I look at it is trying to help each other out, you know. I'm playing best when I'm on stage and I have a sort of euphoric feeling, you know, I'm hitting the zone and in order to be there, you know, I need I need certain things. Sometimes I'll get knocked out of that zone if like if like John Mark and Ruby are all banging away sixteenth notes and stuff, well I'll get knocked off that. But part of the deal is trying to provide that space for each other so that people can hit their zone. It's just like everybody brings something different in the band and it, it comes out something new and original, and I and I hate putting labels on it, but that's why we always just kind of say rock and roll. I think it's a, uh, a message, first and foremost, of uh, love, and uh, you know, it's an old message. I think for as long as we've been writing things down, people have been trying to get across the message that love and forgiveness will get you further in the world, does more to satisfy the soul, does more to nourish what we truly are than competition. It's a basic concept. An individual that tries to grab a handful of water will find that the best they can do is get their hand wet. If you cup your hand in the act of reception, you'll find that you have all that you need to drink. It's a simple concept. In our own culture, it's like 2,000 years later, we're still struggling to get the message. Yeah. Look at that though. I did well that's not with the oh, like the thing where it talks about it. It's like a couple of pages away. It's like page nineteen. That's right. Where's our I like this? I like that shot. Yeah, I like I like the light the shapes and stuff. The rabbits are